gathering sheep here on a log yesterday and you can see down where our jeeps are down there and the one sheep we were crossing her across the river but she picked a bad spot to come across the deepest place might as well have been a dip tub this video starts from where we had brought her down about six or seven hundred yards with Bert, her and her lamb and then she just picked the wrong spot to cross lay down steady Lay down! Lay down! Lay down! She's just come through the, probably the deepest little pool in it. You can see her here now, she's able to cross across the little stepping stones and she has no trouble. And so we get her and her lamb Lay over down. to the other side. Daddy. Both this yo and lamb, a lovely fit sheep there, they're in great form because she stopped doing a lot of galloping down off the rocks up behind us and she's still, uh, there's no danger of going to lie down or anything so that's great. So we're going to load him into this trailer now with Bert but I need to change my vantage point here so I can see the back of the trailer and uh, Joe and Miles will go down just to help kind of guide her in a bit. Lay down! Bert will hold her here for a minute there to give us time to get into position. Lay down. So we were unsuccessful this time and the lamb just slipped up the side. Lay down! Bert has an extra obstacle here. We have two hikers that are just not standing in the ideal spot. Lay down! Lay down! Lay down. Sometimes people say to me, oh, there's an awful lot of commanding. But look at the sheep here. And look where I'm standing holding the camera. So this is a cross drive. And like, you know, you have to put the dog in the right place or your sheep are gone. So. You know, I, I don't know those people who talk about the overcommanding. I don't think they ever find themselves Lady. in these kind of situations. Wait, wait. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. 